Jack Rabbit, here we go. So I thought we'd have a little bit of a deep dive into um, methods to identify a linear resistive load. So let's have a look. So anyway, this is the um, what the theory looks like. <laughs> so basically, we have, an, uh, have a circuit, and we're able to um, measure the current with an ideal um, current measurement device. Basically, no internal resistance, and then we can uh, measure the and uh, unlimited accuracy. And also the same with a volt. We have a voltmeter which has. Uh, uh, basically very high internal impedance um, and also um, it's extremely accurate so this way we can basically use the base Ohm's formula to get the value of the R, an unknown um, resistance and since it's a linear it responds linearly to voltage then um, you know, the calculating the value at one point is good enough but anyway then we um, meet the reality And the reality looks something like this. So um, what happens is that the um, current meter has actually it's uh, implemented as a resistance, and it has a certain um, error in the current measurement. And then also the voltmeter has the same problem. The voltmeter is implemented as a as a resistance internally, and then it also has a certain um, plus minus error on the voltage, depending on the range. And then depending on the size of both RV and RI, then we need to actually select where we need to position the voltage meter to uh, disturb the measurement the least. So let's have a look at the um, test one. And here I've done some cheating, so the unknown resistor is already calculated. And um, basically the I've put in the values of the uh, internal resistances of both the um, current measure, the current meter and the voltage meter. And um, now we'll have a look at the circuit and see what the impact of is of um, positioning the voltmeter, either measuring the voltage over the resistor or over the whole circuit. So anyway, here's the test circuit. So I've. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to adjust the incline. It's now measuring the voltage over the resistor, and to make calculation of the resistor easier, then I'm going to adjust the power supply so that we get exactly 15 volts. There. And then the amperage is then approximately one and a half amps. And that will give you um, 10 ohms. And that's the approximate value of that. And now just as to expand the experiment a bit, then we'll use the same voltage measurement to actually measure the current um, before the um, current measurement. see it goes a little bit over the max 15 volts because there's the voltage drop that happens over this uh, amp meter and uh, that means that you're not getting the correct if you would have the measurement point for the voltage uh, before the amp meter then you would get a faulty um, you would get an incorrect re resistance calculation so in this case, with a very small resistance, better to have the voltmeter um, over the load. So anyway, here's the second test. <coughs> and we have a 500 ohm resistor now, but actual, its actual measured value is 469. So that makes it a bit more interesting. And then. Um, in this case, it's actually better to have the voltage measurement um, prior 
to the card measurement um, due to the fact that it's um, 0 0.8 milliamps uh, of current that it actually takes the voltage meter so that's getting a little bit close to bothering with the last digit on the um, measured current so anyway let's have a look at that so anyway here's the circuit and um, <laughs> when I was using this one then um, I actually didn't remember that it actually heats up quite a lot so it burnt a nice little hole in my breadboard oh can't have it perfect. Anyway, here we see the um, voltage meter is now on the uh, main supply, so it's 15 volts. And then you see here, you get the deviation in the current. That's like 33, 34 uh, milliamps, and that's because the resistance here is not exactly um, what's um, stapled on the um, resistor itself. And now we could actually have a look what the voltage is off to the voltage meter and see. Can see a difference. Uh, nah, can't really. So I would say that probably with this circuit, um, it would be probably okay to um, to um, have the um, Based on resolutions, maybe the current went up just a little tiny bit and might might destroy the value of the resistor. But I think that um, when it's around 500 ohms, I think that that's probably still safe to have the voltage meter on the um, you know, over the um, resistor also, so you can choose both positions. Maybe if we double this to one kilo, then it would be more of a need to have the um, voltage measurement on the, before the um, current measurement. Anyway, that's what that looks like. So that's a little bit insight into um, um, trying to identify, because now of course one can count the one can calculate the resistance out of the um, the um, current value we have and the vol voltage value we have, and um, yeah. This is how you go about identifying the um, unknown resistor, even though we do know what it is, just for the fun of it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a little bit of insight, and um, there will be more to come, so, um, you know, press the... Um, subscribe button and the bells button to get notifications and um, you know if somebody else wants to learn the basics of electronics then um, give them a hint about this video and um, I'll see you in the next one.